Chapter 2 Sample Problem 2 Combine the two forced P and T which act on the fixed structure at P into a single equivalent force. We can combine the two solve this problem in three methods at first parallel game law okay, we will consider this picture we choose P in this direction and from the start point Q T and according to the parallelogram law the resultant of the force is R from this point to R if this angle is theta you can write R magnitude of R equals to P square plus T square plus 2 P T cosinus theta. We should calculate first cosinus theta. Consider this picture again. This, this angle is Theta. So if we calculate this angle first, for example, we can obtain theta. At first we should calculate alpha and this distance. The distance, for example, I have can C D is six inch. Multiply to cosinus 60. 6 cosinus 60. Three feet. So alpha is tangent inverse this distance. BD on AD. BD is six sinus sixty on three plus three. Alpha can be calculated and is nine degree. Theta can be calculated. Theta is at first alpha prime 90 plus alpha prime 90 plus alpha prime is So R can be calculated. R is P square T square plus two cosinus. If we calculate this. Expression R can be obtained and is pump in the paragraph method. The next method can be used is triangular method.
Yani ya metod cancel ya this picture. In the triangular method, a vector and should be connected to the tail of the another vector in this problem T. And the resultant is this, the, the third side of the triangle. So we have three angle here, theta, alpha, and also this is alpha. Alpha obtained before and is degree you should calculate it calculate theta for a triangular in a triangular law if we now the angle between two vectors in connection with head and tail the resultant is p square plus t square minus 2 p t cosinus alpha so r square equals to t square can be obtained and is oh. for the triangular law we can also calculate theta r on sinus the front opposite angle on sinus alpha t on sinus theta was the p on sinus for example here beta this and yeah r t sinus theta Theta can be calculated. Then another method can be used is algebra method. Consider this picture again. In the P can be write as a vector. And T can be right alpha minus sinus alpha A plus A minus sinus alpha J.
I minus so we have two vector with the noun component and t p plus t goes to r equals to the magnitude of R and the theta the magnitude of R by on R is the algebraic method. 